Good morning, Park Point. This is Nick, personal trainer at Santa Rosa Park Point Health Club. Um, today, we're going to do a little upper body workout. What I want you to grab is two bottles of wine. Yeah, two bottles of wine, I know. Or two water bottles filled with water, whatever you have laid around the house. If you don't have wine bottles, bottled water works, whatever you got. So, what we're going to do. Okay, to start off with, we're going to grab the two bottles of wine or bottles of water, whatever you got. We're going to do bicep curls together. So here we go. We're going to do each exercise for one minute. So shoulders are back, nice and tall, core is engaged. We need to tighten the abs a little bit. If I turn to the side, elbows are tight to the body, slightly forward. We're doing bicep curls, full range bicep curls. Try not to let the arms come lax at the bottom like this. Leave a little tension in the muscles. So as we keep going through this, at the end of it, we're gonna actually pulse for a little bit. So, in five, four, three, two, one, we're going to pulse up here. We're just going to keep them right here, pulsing the biceps. If I turn to the side a little bit, I'm just right here. It's a small motion. Again, nice and tall, shoulders back. And we're feeling those biceps burn. Easy enough. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, we're going to do like a tricep pulse. So you're going to grab one bottle of wine. You're going to put it behind the back. We're going to bend at the hips, a little bend in the knees, and back stays straight, and we're going to go right here with it, just lifting off the, the tailbone a little bit, and work the triceps. So we're going to do this for one minute. All right, here we go. Now I'm looking at the camera, but what I would prefer is you looking down, and basically your neck is neutral. Uh, meaning you're just kind of looking straight ahead, your neck is in line with your spine, but I'm looking at the camera so I can talk to you guys. If you want to be more bent, you can. It's completely up to you, and it's just small little motions, as you can tell. My triceps are engaged. They're burning a little bit, but that's good. That's what we're looking for. And that's basically the tricep pulse. And again, we go for one minute on these. Then you rest about 10 seconds in between as we trans transition into the next exercise. Awesome. So the next one, <clears throat> it's basically called, oh, I can feel that in my triceps, that's really good. Uh, prayer pulse. So you're gonna grab another, just one bottle of wine or bottle of water or whatever you have around the house that's useful to you. We're gonna keep the elbows tight. My elbows are in line with my chin and I'm basically gonna raise it up to my nose, elbows up to nose and back down. So we're here and here, up and down. This is basically a little shoulder workout. So if I come to the front, you can see what it looks like when I'm straight on with you. And again, just nice and tall, elbows stay tight together. Turn to the side again so you can see it. And then as you get to the end of this again, we're going to pulse. So I'm going to go like elbows to nose and forehead. So we're just right here. Small little motions. Right here, you'll feel the elbow or the shoulders burn. Good. Keep it up. Excellent. Okay, so there we go. We'll rest for a moment there. Next one we're going to do is a shoulder press. So we're going to grab both bottles. We're going to start at 90 degrees here with our arms. 90 degree angle there. Elbows aren't dropping lower than the shoulders. We're going to come up over the top and back down. So we're here and here. Here we go. Try not to clank the bottles together so we don't break them over our head. That would not be good. So we're right in here. Good. Excellent. 
And again, every exercise we do is a one minute. And as we get to the end, we're going to pulse for, you know, 20 seconds or something like that. So we do this for one, uh, for like 40 seconds. Then we're going to pulse it right here. Good. Feel that burn. You'll feel your shoulders engaging. You're going to feel a nice burn in there. Beautiful. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Okay, shake the arms out. Like I said, this is all upper body, so if you need more time to rest in between than 10 seconds, go ahead and take it. No big deal. Um, go at your own pace. You know, whatever you feel your recovery time is, then move on to the next exercise. So the next one's going to be double tray opens. That's kind of a weird name, but what that looks like is butter the bottles together, elbows tight to the body, and you're basically just going to open as far as your arms let you go. Don't let the arms come out this way and rotate back. So we're here and here. Standing nice and tall for me. Pinch the shoulder blades together as you come back. So I'll do it to the side so you can see what it looks like. Good. And it's just a rotation of the shoulders. You're working your shoulders again. Good. And they just stay, like I said, arms at 90 degree angle. So there's my 90 degree angle. And I'm just rotating. It's not a big motion. And it's whatever mobility you have of the shoulders. Then at the end, we're basically just going to pulse them again this way. I'll kind of turn this way so you can see it. There we go. Pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Good. Keep it up. Feel that burn. And good. Rest. Put the bottles down. Beautiful. So another thing to remember is always, uh, if your hands get sweaty a little bit, re-grip, wipe them off. You always want to maintain a good grip, obviously, on the bottles or the water bottles or whatever you have because, obviously, you don't want to drop them on the floor and break them or anything like that. So, next one, we're just going to do uh, uh, front raise, and that's basically going to be... So I'm going to put the butts of the bottles together here. Shoulders relaxed. I'm going to lift up to shoulder height and back down. We're doing a front raise, so right here. Good. Good. These are just going to be normal. There's no pulsing at the end. So we're just going to do a minute of front raises. I'll turn the side so you can see. Just come up to shoulder height and back down. Shoulder height, back down. Again, keep the core engaged. Nice tall posture. A little bend in the knees if you need it. Turn back to you here. Good. Turn to this side just so you can see this side too. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we're going to do five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so rest we're in. Next one, we're going to do uh, reverse fly. So, both bottles again. You're going to sit here, bend at the hips, back stays straight, arms are in front of you. You're basically going to come up to shoulder height and back down. Let me come this way so you can see it. Up to shoulder height and back down. It's like a regular fly if you're coming forward, but it's for the reverse upper back. So we're here. And again, I'm talking to you. I prefer the neck neutral, but I kind of have to keep with the uh, camera here. So I'm going to turn the side again so you can see it. Up, up. Good. And again, a minute of, of reverse flies, maintaining a good grip on the bottles. Excellent. Now my legs are together and they can be a little wider if you want a better stance. It's up to you. So here, reverse flies, beautiful. All right, so, great. We rest there for a second. You know, 10, 20 seconds, whatever you're feeling. Next one we're gonna do is a press and close. So what that looks like is basically it's a shoulder press to like a, like a forward fly. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we're going to be here 90 degrees. Up, down, together. Up, come down to 90 degrees and fly to the front here. Elbows stay in line. Good. Kind of pinch the chest together as we come forward. Good. 
Good. Excellent. Feel that burn. Keep it going for me. Beautiful. Good. And basically I'm just showing you that you can use anything at home to work out with. You don't have to have weights. You can make anything into your own weights, basically. Good. All right. So, next one is going to take a little coordination. It's a front and a lateral raise together. So, what that looks like is one arm is going to come up and one arm is going to go out. And then we're going to go opposite. So, what that looks like is front raise, lateral raise, and then switch it. Good. Good. Takes coordination. I even have to think about this a little bit. Good. And just up to shoulder height with the lifts here. Good. And again, one minute through these. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here we go. We're almost at the end here of the actual workout. It's a pretty quick one, actually because it's just dealing with upper body, so we don't want to tire you out too much. Beautiful job. We're going to do one more on each side. Good. Excellent. So, last one, we're going to do upright rows with a little pulse at the end. So what that looks like, arms are in front of you. You're going to come up to about chin height with the bottles and back down. Up and down. Good. If I turn to the side, you can see them come up, flare the elbows up towards the ceiling, basically. Good. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good. Feel that burn. Even though this isn't very heavy weight, I still actually feel it. Um, because you're going to go for a minute at a time, the more repetitions, the more fatigued you're going to get. So then at the end here, we're going to pulse. So I'm going to just sit it right here and pulse right here. Good. Make sure it's out of your neck. Good, good, good. Three, two, one, good. So anyway, that's kind of an at-home wine bottle workout. So then when you're done, you can grab one of these if you want to, if you feel like you want to reward yourself. Open up a bottle of wine. Have a glass. Unless it's like 8 in the morning. But you know, we're in shelter in place, so who am I to judge anybody? But anyway, like I said, this is Nick from uh, Park Point Santa Rosa, trainer there. We're all missing you. We're wishing you well. Hopefully you're staying healthy. We're looking forward to seeing you guys real soon again. Um, keep it up. Keep watching our videos. And we'll see you next time. Have a great, great day, guys. Take care. Bye.